Right, we continue our look this morning at what China does not want you to see. The United States says the superpower is reclaiming land in the South China Sea. Artificial islands under construction could become military bases. China has not granted CBS News access, but Seth Doan got as close as any Westerner might. And he is in, back in Beijing this morning. Seth, good morning. Good morning. Those territorial claims can be so scattered, they almost appear like a game of Chinese checkers with different countries claiming different bits of land. China will not let foreign journalists visit those islands in the South China Sea. So we traveled to the Philippines to try to find our own way to see them. The patchwork of territorial claims may be best understood from the air. A reef belonging to China is close to an atoll claimed by Vietnam and not far from a shoal belonging to the Philippines. We landed on Pagasa, claimed by China, inhabited by Filipinos, and just 13 miles from Subi Reef, one of the islands the Chinese have been creating. Okay, so just hop in here. There we hired some Filipino fishermen to take us as close as we could get. Thank you very much. Thank you. One of the reasons the South China Sea is so valuable is that it has 7 billion barrels of proven oil reserves. That's the oil consumption of the entire United States for a year. There are also the fisheries that provide these men with a living and busy shipping lanes that see five times more oil tanker traffic than the Panama Canal. As we were first approaching Subi Reef here, you could just see one crane. Now, as we get closer, you can see a number of cranes up and down the length of this island. Satellite images from early June reveal the pace of growth. The landfill has expanded dramatically. Overall, China is adding to its islands at the rate of at least three and a half acres a day. It almost looks like a city in the middle of the sea. There's enough space for an airstrip. Through the haze, we could see the faint outline of heavy equipment and then a warning signal. They've now flashed several warning signals at us. Our captain is starting to get nervous. He tells us it's time to get out of here. In calmer water, our captain, Ramulo Barcoma, told us he felt it was too dangerous to get closer and worried about being detained by the Chinese. What was that signal that you saw? Why did you tell us we needed to turn back right away? It was a warning for us not to go any further, he said. So I turned the engine down so we didn't look like we were moving closer. Back in Beijing, we went to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to ask why our requests to see China's island building have not been granted. Do you believe it's a possibility that we could visit these islands? But is China hiding anything on these islands? So far, no one has been able to visit. I can tell you for sure, spokeswoman Ha Chunying said, that the Chinese government has nothing to hide from the international community. It was hard to see that warning light on the camera, but through the haze, we made it out, saw it at least five times flashing there. This week, China said it had stopped expanding some of the islands in the South China Sea, but, Charlie, it would not stop building on them. Seth, thank you so much. Good reporting. Very good. I think I would have stopped there, too, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, when, yeah. When, when, when the, the captain says, let's go. When the go. Chinese said, far enough. Yeah. But think about the implications of China building those, acre, those islands there. The three military and a half, significance. The military significance. Yeah, this is a big story.